Hello foodies! Welcome to another episode here on my channel. As promised, today I will show you a tutorial on how to use the Atlas 150 pasta baker machine. So let's begin! In placing the machine to the table, you have to consider how you will operate it. Imagine you are cranking the machine and you are pulling out the dough so you need enough space for that. To stabilize the machine, your table must have a space like this for you to attach the clamp like this. And for the crank, you must insert it into this hole, like this. If you are using your pasta machine for the first time, you have to clean it first with a slightly damp cloth. To remove excess oils. So let's now make the pasta. So you need the pasta dough. As you can see, I have already made one and it's covered in plastic for it not to dry. I have made a video tutorial on how to make fresh handmade pasta. I will just put the link on this video and on the description below. Okay, let's make the pasta. First, let's remove the plastic. I will remove a small portion of the dough to be used for cleaning because remember we are using our machine for the first time and set that aside and then for this dough we will flatten the dough and try to achieve a rectangular shape it's looking like this then we will cut the dough into even portions after cutting them we will set them aside But we need to cover them with plastic or with cloth for them not to dry. So this is the small portion of the dough that we will be used for cleaning the rollers of our new machine. So we will feed it through the rollers and roll. Another one. So this is done in order to clean the rollers of the of the new machine and this will be thrown away afterwards. It's just for cleaning the rollers. This is the thickness adjustment knob and the first thing the first step in making our pasta is to set this knob to number zero. How to do it? First, we have to pull it outward like this and set it to your desired number which is zero. Now we're ready to feed the dough through the machine. should be ready with your flour for dusting both sides of the sheet and then we have to fold the sheet 
and run it again through the machine. And fold it again, repeating it for five to six times. If the dough feels sticky, just, just dust it with flour. In this machine, the adjustment knob is the higher the number, the thinner the pasta will become. So since we are making fettuccine, the recommended thinness is at number 5. So the next step for us to do is to set the machine to number 1. We have to run it only one, only one time. Set it to number 2. And again, run it only once. Set it to number three. Run it again only once. You see, it's getting long because that's the goal. And then, Adjust it to number four. And finally, number five, which is the thinness required for fettuccine. Now we are ready to cut the pasta sheets into pieces for making it into fettuccine sizes. We will cut them into 10 inches long per piece. This is my cutter. It has measurements in it. We will use this one. It's now time to cut the pasta sheet into fettuccine. we will insert the pasta sheet into this tagliolini roller but first we should transfer this crack here ready with your wand If you won't be using all the pasta that you have made, just hang them dry for about 5 to 6 hours and store them in jars or canisters like this one. Just make sure that you will use the pasta in less than 3 days. But if you will not be using it right away, you can always store it in the freezer and it will be good for the next 2 or 3 months. So there you have it. I hope you learned a thing or two in this tutorial. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And please click the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next.